So everybody likes the Kaiser Como rant, right? The Como rant. Uh, and this is the, you know, some guy was going, Oh, I like that PlayStation uh, knife. It's like, PlayStation knife, what are you talking about? You know, what you talking about, Willis? Because he didn't say the word Kaiser. He just says PlayStation knife. I'm going, hey, you know what? I was born in 1842. I, I don't know PlayStation, okay? Okay, I do know PlayStation, but I don't play PlayStation. So, yes, yes, I get it. These are the symbols on the paddle. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got to hit this three times, that four times, and then the guy's arm will raise, and then this, and then the guy's arm will lower. And it's like, what the? Just, you know what? Get a knife. Get a life. Get, baby, that's it. That's going to be my logo for LTK brand. Get a knife, get a life. Or how about get a life, get a knife. Which one? Which one should it be? Okay. Get out of the basement. Sun's out. It's nice weather. Go do something dangerous. Okay. Quit playing first person. Okay. Check this out. See, and I have the magic because... You know, I'm a special kind of person. Watch this. I'm going to levitate all this. One-handed. One-handed, I'm going to levitate everything here. Like that. Okay? Okay? Did I... What? Okay? What are you saying? Nothing? Okay? Nothing special. Just going to levitate the entire package right there. See? You didn't think I had any special powers? I did. I'm going to be on the next movie, one of those, uh, you know, Marvel comic things. And it's the Comorant. Button lock. Flipper. No, 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 hold on. They call him Flipper, but you know what? It's a front flipper. It's a top flipper. Whatever kind of flipper you want, you can get flipper, seal for flipper pie, flipper this, flipper that. Now, button lock flipper. And, okay, so how big is this knife? How big is y'all? Because there, there's the rub, so to speak. What? Not even three and a quarter? That is against my religion. 81, 82 millimeter... Seven and a quarter. Hold on, hold on. See see where it says nine inches out here? Okay, hold on. See where it says nine and a quarter inches out here? That's where you want it, right? What happened? What happened to the rest of the knife, damn it? Where is it? Come here, you dick. There's a button lock for you, biatch. See, so you start there. See, I told you, there's part of it missing. The vandal. Get vandalized. Okay, now. So, when they make the Cormorant XL, it's coming. Did you know that? A couple, I don't know. It might be five or six weeks. Check with White Mountain Knives because they're going to do that. Oh, by the way. Also, for you titanium freaks... Uh, M390, what do you think? What do you think? It's not PlayStation, but, you know, it's pretty good. And here's the rest of the gobbledygook with the PlayStation one. And three ounces by you. It was designed by you. So, obviously, you know what you are doing, right? Right? I mean, what's wrong with you? And uh, S35VN. That's why it costs 120 smackers. But what's 120 minus 10%? There's 12 bucks off, right? You get $12 off this knife. LTK discount, by the way. Oh, well, this is the wrong pattern, too. Okay, whatever. But I'm going to get to it. But check this out. Okay, this is arriving in J. Did it cut off, maybe? White Mountain exclusive. Um, so it's an XL. And it's going to be three and a half inch blade. Not a little three inch 
shooter. That ought to be interesting. Here's all the different, you know, insanity you can get. Obviously, this is the one we're talking about. Blah, blah, blah. And, of course, then they had the one in 3V. It was on my sale. I've had a couple of them on my table sales. Um, and, you know, so what you do is... That's the wrong one. That's the best at Casa. Okay. <sighs> Got all kinds of paperwork out here. Okay. But... Go on, find that Comorant XL, and then put in your, please notify me, dink, 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 and then it'll notify you. Then you can jump in there and get your one, because three and a half inch, Comorant XL button lock, front flipper, top flipper, round flipper, down flipper, up flipper, just flipper. You're going to love it. And right or left hand Deep carry pocket clip. It's the answer to your prayers, to your knife prayers, from a guy who can levitate. Yeah, you ought to think about it. And do we have? Yeah, I think we, I think we got, uh, I think we got bearings on there, and it's centered up. And yeah, I mean, this would be a good little EDC, you know, play toy, till you get the XL in hand. You know, this will be okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, she's sharp. It's all right. And it says 35VN, so it's a stupid steel. And uh, so you can look stupid right there with the steel. And it's Kaiser. And obviously it's designed by you. So not me, just you. I like it. Uh, I, I think it's a good looking design, don't you? You... <laughs> Okay, now we're now we're gonna get caught in a loop here. Uh, thumb ramp up here. You're gonna jack it clear up here, and then you're gonna get like this and go. I'm gonna carve my initials in something, right? Or maybe open the box to the Comrade XL coming soon. Um, until then, you have this to hold on to for security. Yeah, just like to fulfill your dreams for now. Uh, and, you know, no, it is cool. And, you know, I got the little swag, so here it is. Where, when are we going to get this at an XL, huh? Huh? Oh, bam. There you go. Let's get this in a mm, eight and a half inch overall length. Bingo. And then this one, too. And then we can go XL on all that, like we did with the bag lighter XL. Hello, little bag lighter. Berg bag lighter XL button lock flipper. Check that out. Okay, see? This muy grande. This muy, you know, small, petite. Oh, that's French. Damn it. Okay. But it's small. Grande. Ooh, bounced right off the... Woo, baby. You don't even want to even... Yeah. And by the way, this is from Geyser. Yeah. So, but this is not, uh, this is 154 C, uh, CM. So, mm -mm -mm, not S35. This will be good. This will be good. But it's not going to come in the PlayStation pattern. It's going to come in the XXX, you know, this, this deal here. Okay. Close enough. Close enough. Imagine the rest. Yeah. Finger flick, everything. Oh, hold on. What did they say? Three ounces. And 88 grams, basically. Uh, three ounces, 3.1, you know, whatever. So, now, what do we got for this? What do we have for this? Mm, three millimeter blade stock at 0.11. That's pretty standard. Half inch, 12.4. Okay. Half inch thick here. So, yeah, pretty sturdy on there. And uh, got liners in here. We'll pop it apart. You know, you got a button lock. So, in case that's a huge breaking news story to you, and we'll take a look at it. And I'm sure we got a spring back there somewhere. I'm thinking. That'll be interesting. At least you can get all your fingers on here. This I'm not sure about. It's almost like this. Knife was designed to set up here, 
here and here, as opposed to, you know, you want to go here, here, and here. I guess you can. And you're kind of, I feel like I'm in the back seat here. I mean, I kind of want to be here, but um, it's awkward because I'm kind of, my second finger's on this hump and my first finger's on this hump. I don't know why we did this. I don't think we needed to do this. I think it could have been a straight shot. You know? Unless it was meant to do this. And now I'm a little dangerously close to that edge. So, otherwise, I'm back here, but I feel like I'm swinging from the back 40 here. I need to be on home plate, okay? And then it's pushing my last finger way out back. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to think about that. Um, I would not have done this Humpty Hump or made it as severe, at least. And if I was going to do that, I mean, see, you got this, so you can't really do that. But then forget about it. Just leave it. I mean, less is more sometimes. And it would have been more better from an ergo standpoint had you left it alone. But, I mean, you know, flesh is moldable. So, I mean, you can deal with it. And since it's probably not going to be the all-day you know, Mongo box cutter thing for you necessarily. Uh, it's it's not going to be that disastrous uh, to your hands. But, you know, there's that. I mean, we're just talking about ideally. So, we're good. We got standoffs. Uh, looks good. Uh, I like it. Um, I've seen people, you know, throw this in the dye because you're not going to do anything with the black. The black will stay black, but you can color the white part. So you can take these scales off and you don't have to worry about a backspacer to go with it. So you can dump it in blue or red or yellow or whatever and this white will turn color and so you'll have the black and then whatever color you want to make these in. Be kind of cool if you could like make this like magenta and then blue and yellow and green, whatever, you know, like that. Uh, I don't know if you could just tape off all that stuff and do that, but that would be an interesting effect as well. Let's get all our drivers here because I have a feeling this is going to driver me crazy. And uh, let me see if we got body screws in the six or eh, these are six. Okay. Oh, with 120 bucks can't give me a number eight, can you? Come on, man. Yeah, and this one just sits in here. Well, let's see where it sits in. Uh, let's see where it sits in. Okay, so there's that. This is interesting. Uh, okay, there's no internal screw uh, screws in here, and I was kind of wondering if there might have been uh, because of this. Uh, I thought with that standoff, but no, I guess the scale just helps hold it in place. Okay, we popped. Okay, we got this little collar here, and it sits on top of here. And then we got the standoff, so you know what? Instead of being too crazy, I think I'm going to try and leave things in position so I know where I'm getting back to. Because this is a different setup than I've used before. Okay, here's ceramic bearings in here. Here's the spring hanging out the bass backward side. And it's interesting because I don't know how they got this thing in here to begin with. But it ain't coming out, is it? It's a little bit different setup than like the Civivi uh, button locks. For sure. But there's got to be a way that that came in uh, to here. Okay. Well, I'm not going to mess with it. I'm going to leave it alone. Okay. And there's that. And then you've got uh, liner and you've got D-shaped pivot here. And you've got, uh, and this is coming through from the back side. Okay. 
which is interesting. Of course, this is from the front side. Let's move that down here. And then we got ceramic bearings front and back. So, like I said, it's on bearings. Pretty crazy, pretty clean. Um, skeletonized, nested there as well. Now, I guess if we put it back together, we probably should come from the back. Because that's where that comes from to begin with, anyhow. And that's what we peeled it down to. So, let's see what we're doing here. Uh, we're going to have this little dog in here. And then we've got this that it fits into. And let's figure where that goes and figure where this goes. Okay. Interesting. Uh, let me see. Where are we on this? Okay. Uh, we need, uh, oops. Need another washer here. Need this. That's enough. All right, so this goes like this. Here, hold on. And this. This is going to sit down here. And, uh, yeah, come on. There you go, just like that. Just like this, and hopefully we still got our spring lined up. Okay. Uh, it looks like we're lined up here. So let's pop this on. <laughs> All right, what do you think? Does that look right? Hopefully it does, right? So ceramic bearings. Uh, just make sure you get your that little collar that goes around here. It sits on top of this inner liner and not between the liner and the blade. That can be a little confusing initially, although it's not going to work if it you know, if you do that, so you'll learn. And, uh, okay. Now, are we centered? Yeah, we are. Okay. Not a whole lot of detent there, but, um, okay. Yeah, not bad. I mean, it's what it needs to be for a button lock flipper, that's for sure, especially when you can finger flick it as well. So, yeah, it's good. Once again, of course, I need to demonstrate my magical powers. Or could it be that there are magnets under this part of the uh, box that close it up that are sticking to the pocket clip? Maybe... Maybe could be that. And here's the box. Um, eh, pivot. Extra hardware. Hush my mouth. And there you go. So, plastic, pouch, hardware, uh, microfiber cloth in here, along with some meaningless paperwork that you will not even read. Because it doesn't have any you know express pictures or information on this specific knife and then it all slides together like this in a lovely presentation it's a comrant playstation button lock front flipper top flipper just call me flipper and you know what we do we love them knives so you guys stay sharp